What's good with the YouTube? You already know. This is a complex reaction with your boy Big Flacco. I don't do no smashing and dashing. I just do some reacting. You know what I mean? Let's get straight to it. Now I want to do a reaction, man, to uh, you know this you the YouTube genre, the prison genre, right? And uh, you know, there's different pioneers to this, man. You know, there's there's a uh, uh, I'd have to say Mundo, Boxer, myself, and ACP, and stories written by Current Prisoner. We took took it as far as within the the, the California uh, Hispanic gangs. We brought that element out before anybody else, man. You know, and we've all we've all gave something, right, to lay the fucking template, to lay the groundwork for fucking what's expected and what are people are trying to mimic. You know what I'm saying? You can't take that from any of us. You know. And I'm kind of reacting just to how it's changed so much, you know. Um, see, a complex perspective, man, the thing that I used to love about ACP, right, when me and Rojo were rocking it, was is that you got straight content about real fucking shit, real gang issues, real shit from the streets, from fucking real people who were really active with that, with the action back then, you know. You can't take that away from fucking me, Rojo, Boxer, Chango, uh, you know, any of us, you know what I'm saying? Sundown too. You can't take that away, right? But we also had those lives, man, that were fucking the most entertaining lives that we set that foundation, man. I, I know I was the first one to go live on that shit. Then we fi I figured out StreamYard. And there was no one really going live as much from the prison genre. If they were, they were smaller channels and stuff. And they weren't within the, the, the Rasa community. You know, I know you guys remember when we used to wear the mask and stuff, right? But those lives on ACP, people have tried to fucking mimic that. And no one's ever going to mimic that. You can never be what we, what we put forth, man. You can only copycat it. You know, Gunner was right there, a part of that as well. Gunner was a huge part of fucking uh, uh, putting that together. And all these other people contributed to it, man, which which is what made fucking the ACP lives so great. You'd have Sea Dog, you'd have Sundown, you'd have 209, Bean, fucking all these, you know, boxers would come on from time to time. Everybody went on ACP's lives. We were legendary. You know what I'm saying? There's no one that can take that from any of us, man. So we set the template, we set the blueprint, and we did that, man. You know, and uh, just reacting that a lot of channels have tried to mimic and copy it, which is, I have no issue with. You know what I mean? But no matter what, it's never going to be an ACP live. You can't, it's never going to be like how it was. The only way it's going to be how it was is if you get Rojo, Donnie, and all these other people back in there, and we go live all together. Then you'll see the circus return. You know what I'm saying? The circus took a lot of people throughout their, their times when they were fucking effective with things in life, man. They were able to go on this platform and enjoy... Um, you know, get out of their issues. You know, COVID was a big thing, man. I mean, think of the things that we did. We had fucking Donnie Mullins, right? Who, whatever uh, learning disabilities or handicaps he has, he came out of his shell. You know what I'm saying? You know, look who else we had on there. We had people like fucking, you know, being in 209. They created a fucking Cheech and Chong channel. You know what I mean? Um, sea Dog, he went off and created the channel. Smitty, you had fucking legendary fucking Smitty and his fucking shooting dope and fucking horrors all over the country fucking stories, which were fucking hilarious, you know, and we never discriminated who you were or where you were from. You could be a North Daniel, Sudaniel, active, inactive, fucking wood, fucking Africano, um, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You were welcomed on the, on the channel. You know, we had the one where fucking they, where someone tapped in and fucking next you know, you had about fucking all these dogs swinging at us trying to fucking get us all fucking <laughs> flagged. And, uh, you know, no matter how hard people try, man, it's, it's never going to be like that unless we get it together again, man, which would be cool. I'd, I'd be up for it, man, to put some of the personal issues that maybe others have towards each other to the to the side and, uh, uh, you know, do another ACP fucking live again with everybody involved and shit, man. It'd be cool to do that maybe once a week. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, if you don't like someone, just fucking tell them to fuck off and do your own thing on there. You know what I mean? Plain and simple. Um, you know, we had the time where fucking... Ty talked about the time when he was fucking in the shower in the army and the seven foot fucking Shabazz fucking turned and fucking hit him in his fucking face with a fucking fucking some long ass long. <laughs> yeah, fucking uh, Donnie Mullins looking for change because we told him we were gonna buy him a fucking a uh, 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 fucking uh, escort. And then you had fucking him being fucking called in by a fucking uh, uh, one of those like IG models and shit. She fucking was talking shit, man. We had all kinds of fucking great times on, on those lives, man. You know what I'm saying? And you got other channels that are that are doing the best to do different things that are similar. You have like you know, you know, Krusty. He doesn't have as far as the theatrics and stuff, but he has a good channel with the music and the vibes and so forth, man. You know, 
gank, ganking and drinking, I guess. You know, you have nothing. They, they like to joke around on that channel and talk, talk shit and get high and drink. You know what I mean? Um, you know, EBK be having his people come on there. They be getting into the jokes, man. But no matter what, this ain't no disrespect to any of those channels. There'll never be anything like the ACP Lives, and I think everybody knows that. But, um, you know, much much respect to all those channels that are doing similar situations, similar channels, similar lives like that, man. I want to get back to doing some lives like that, man. Because I think that when we were all like that in sync and doing those lives, there was a little bit more fucking uh, unity. There was less, you know what I mean? You didn't have L tapping in. You know what I mean? There was no fucking drama, man. You know what I'm saying? Once people started putting their egos or their fucking personal channels first and foremost before anything else, it's when everything started to change. You know what I'm saying? And everybody was winning. Everybody was winning. So you see all that dividing conquer that occurs? That's my reaction to that, man. You know, that's why this 2023, I've, I've, you know, not really responded to any fucking trolls or drama or fucking small channels that are swinging on my desk because they're not really worth my time, man. I'm not going to fucking worry about no fucking nobodies. You know what I'm saying? Fucking bottom feeders, I'm cool off that, man. That's why I don't even mention anybody by name. I just do me. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but I don't forget where, you know what I'm saying, we come from in this, man. I mean, we were the ones that kind of pioneered a lot. You know what I mean? Shots out to Boxer, Mundo, and fucking stories written by Current Prisoner, and Gunners Collective as well. We all laid some type of foundation, you know, and, and you know, no matter what, you can't take that from any of, these, any of us, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of unfortunate that, you know, me and Rojo should basically be on here still fucking generating fucking hella buzz. You know what I mean? There's, there's no reason for, for uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Rojo, Rojo's channel to be only getting like 500 views on the video, man. Ro, Rojo played a pivotal part in all this. You know what I'm saying? As did all the other names. You know? We put together the first fucking boxing event. Fucking type former fucking, you know, gang members, whatever you want to call it. Fucking North and South. And, you know, had fucking people that were known that supported it. So we've done a lot of stuff, man. And we've withstood a lot of different trolling, trolls and bullshit, man. You know that it's important for everybody to realize that you know uh, outside of this YouTube stuff, it's real life, man. It's, you know, for some of us, this is, this is our life, man. And don't don't let the smooth chase fool you, man. You know what I'm saying people forget sometimes the caliber of individuals that first came into this mix. It wasn't like we came in with like some riff raff cats. You know what I mean? You know. Anyways, this is my reaction to the YouTube genre today. Let me see how long I am. I gotta go a few more minutes longer than this. This is kind of short. Anyway, so um, yeah, it's, it's it's good that we have some new blood in, in the in the genre. You know what I'm saying? But you know what what course of direction are people taking, man? And, and you know, once people get into a comfort zone, man, they find fucking lanes that they want to go into to serve their self purpose, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I don't talk to you, I don't fuck you. You keep my name out, out your mouth. That's how I look. But you know what? I realize that no matter what, there's going to be someone that's going to be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to attack Flapper because, you know, I'm going to get hella fucking views off it because I can't get views off my own shit. Well, go ahead. Have fun with it because it's just a waste of your time. You know what I'm saying? You know, keeping it 100. I've, I've gone through all the fucking different, uh, what do you call, uh, tactics and stuff and people strategize and all that, man. If you got, you know, if you want to make it in YouTube, Make it off your content for what you, who you are, what you do. Don't try to thrive off anybody else. Once you get to a certain plateau, plateau in this, then go ahead and do your reactions. Earn your respect, pay your dues. You know what I'm saying? People, you know, because otherwise, all you're doing is becoming a, a gossipy channel. Let's tell, I want to know about what you went through, what you did, where were you from, what was your experience. I want to know the good, the bad, the ugly, and the fucking truth. Not the fucking let's fucking talk out about everybody else. Because anybody could do that. I can make a fucking video about every channel and fucking cause drama and just fucking be theatrical and fucking, you know what I mean? And get probably a hell of views, but that's not my nature, man. My nature's about being me and only standing up for what I got to do when I need to. And these reactions are not to really try to, you know, cast anybody in a, lot, a negative light, man. Unless they have it coming, you know what I'm saying? And I haven't really had one negative reaction, and I still, as far as on this channel. And I'm not, I'm not going to unless it's something that's really relevant and out there. You know, because I want everybody to, to succeed. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to prosper. But the bottom line is, you know, the genre is, it's oversaturated at times too, man. Anyways, 
This is just a reaction to the current prison genre. I wanted to talk about the lives, man, and you know some of the things that we were able to do on here. You know what I'm saying? We brought I brought we, I brought in personally myself as far as role to some legendary interviews. You know what I mean? Old school NF members. You know what I mean? First generation fucking actors, fucking producers, fucking writers. You know what I mean? I've, I've crossed over all XCOs, fucking ex law enforcement. We've done everything on here, man. You know what I'm saying? And we're we're gonna continue to fucking shine. So man, much respect to all those that also paved the way. Broken Par Paradigm Media News, we Boxer, the Rojo Room, man, my ex-partner, man, Gunners Collective, you know, and the you know, stories written by current prisoner, and then all those that came after, man. You know, uh, you know, prisoners awakening, fucking homie hangout, and you know, Salinas Report, Total Trucker, you know, LA Times, all those channels, man. Much respects, man, because you know what, man. In some form or fashion, we've been able to shape the genre, but I wish we could shape the genre back to where it needs to be. All right, with that said, it's your boy Flacco. I'm out.